farting. Welcome back to the Dumbcast, everyone. This is episode 35. I'm your host, uh, Splinter Voodoo. Uh, I'm joined here with my clan mates from our oh my great God. clan, Ascent. Not that kind of clan. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm joined here with... Um, go ahead and choose yourselves. Uh-huh. All right, awesome. Thank you guys for... um. Introducing yourselves. <laughs> You're welcome. Anytime. Anytime. So, anyways, um, yeah. So we're missing one person, unfortunately. But they'll join us one day again, hopefully. So we're back. We got some topics as usual. We got some great things to talk about. So, um, yeah. So who wants to go first with the topics? Uh, mm-hmm. you guys. <laughs> I don't Whoa. know. I, I don't know. Ladies first. All right, as they go. Yeah, all, right. So, all, you. Um, all right, so any YouTubers are sentenced for threatening to blow up in their port for a video prank. Um, I'll read more into it right now. So basically, last year, a YouTuber named Jero Nandela pretended to be an Islamic terrorist and claimed he had an explosive device while former basketball player Andre Antonio filmed the incident. While recording footage, the airport staff continued on as usual and didn't buy into the prank, much to the charging, much to the triggering of the YouTubers who expected a much more serious reaction. The drills were then interrupted by security and detained. And uh, yeah, um, uh, as report, as reported by ITV, both Nandela and Antonio plead guilty to communicating false information. Nandela was sentenced to 200 of unpaid work in nine months, while Antonio received 150 hours of unpaid work in five months. Wow. So, yeah, um, what are your guys' thoughts on that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he has no free will. He cannot think of his own. <laughs> He hasn't unlocked that skill tree yet. I mean, I can't really even. What's the opinion that he did a bad thing? Uh, just, like, I mean, just like your thoughts on the situation, I guess. Like, stupid, I guess. Yeah, it's stupid. It's just another YouTuber doing another dumb shit. I don't know. Well, I have another one that's prank related. Well, well no, yeah. Dar, what about you? What do you think? Honestly? More ashamed at the cameraman being a former NBA player. I mean, that's that's the is most NBA player. player. Is that what you said? No, just a former basketball player. Nothing about NBA. Wait, why is that even a detail then? <laughs> I don't know. It was on the report. <laughs> on the article, at least. Was well, that really got that going for him? <laughs> <laughs> was that just racist? I don't know. I don't know. It just said that it was like, oh, it's like he was a former this and that. The author of it. That's what the article said. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it just oh, said he was just, I guess he was like a what? server star, I guess. Not like NBA, but like just a world. Was he online. like a college like college basketball? Yeah, I think like something that. like that. It didn't it didn't like probably explain like Okay. Because I'm pretty sure if it was an NBA a former NBA player, it would have made bigger news because I didn't hear about this before. Uh-huh. Maybe not. And why would a former NBA player why would a former NBA player be a <laughs> A cameraman for this random guy. You never know nowadays, man. You never know. I, I guess, yeah. Bro could have just been like, get that guy. Like, you're trying to apprehend, apprehend him, and then he just shows off his vertical. Like, <laughs> oh, shit, that guy plays for the NBA. <laughs> Yo, true. But, no, um, you know, it's just really dumb. I mean, I mean, you guys just failed to get a reaction out of threatening, like, <laughs> hundreds of lives at an airport. Good, good, good job, I guess. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, like, what's next, dude? What's next? Uh, pranksters are gonna go to like theaters and start yelling like fire and shit. Like, bro, you're just doing <laughs> illegal <laughs> shit. You're just <laughs> don't give them any just... ideas. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't done that. That's like <laughs> fire, fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the hell, dude? That's, that's not true. What the fuck? <laughs> no one has done that. Holy shit. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. 
There's something to get the GoPro. I need to find some random college basketball player. This is sounds looking good. Looking good. <laughs> well, uh, since we're on the trend with pranks, what's the other prank you wanted to? Or actually, how do you feel about that? Like, well, I don't know. Like, yeah. I, it's it's kind of stupid, obviously. But like, why the fuck do you think about like, oh, we're Islamic terrorists? Let me just, you know, be funny. Like that King Batch humor, bro. I don't know. It's yeah, but it's like stupid the way they're doing it. Well, yeah, obviously. You know? I mean, like, <laughs> like, and not only that, but the fact that they kept on trying afterwards after like they failed to get any like any people to like react. Yeah. And then they kept trying only for them to just fucking get arrested. It's it's just fucking like you could have just like not done it in the first place. <laughs> yeah, those type of. Those type of pranksters are just clout demons. They really just don't care about anything else but clout. That's what they yeah. want. Yeah. They'll, kill, they'll kill a kid live on fucking YouTube if it fucking gave him like 10 million views. Mm-hmm. They'll fucking do anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, those are my thoughts right now. But, um, well, the next one is a pranks as well. It's uh, a YouTuber was arrested. Or a, yeah, a YouTuber prankster was arrested for faking bomb scare at a mall food court. Okay, is this Again, a... like what's up with these bomb threats? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, at where? At a uh, at a mall food court. A mall food court. What? Why? What did the mall food court food court do to him? Like what? Off the most people we could think of, you know what I mean? Just like, you know, where does everyone out at? Oh, uh, yes, the food course. Yeah. Well, let me find it. I had it right here. God damn it. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I'm going to have to just go to my local AMC, start a new trend. These bomb trends are not it. Okay, found it. Okay, so. Uh, a man has been arrested after faking a bomb scare at a shopping center. His excuse? It was all just a YouTube prank. Social media is a common place for hopeful pranks. to find a footing with millions of pranks video. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is like just an intro to it. Okay. 37-year-old Joshua Jones was arrested for creating a bomb scare at the mall, going on to tell authorities that he had intended to film Atron reactions and post the fiasco to his YouTube channel. Uh, according to nola.com jones into the mall wearing a ski mask and carrying a black bag in his place the bag in the mall's food court then two nearby patrons that it contained a bomb the sheriff's office was notified and deputies arrived at the scene knowing that jones was filming the interaction on his mobile phone he was subsequently arrested admitting that the bomb was fake and that he planned to post the footage to his youtube channel uh jones is now facing felony charges with two counts of making a bomb threat and false communications with the intent of causing an emergency response. If convicted, if convicted, he may be looking at a 15-year prison sentence. Yep. <laughs> okay. I mean, he has it on camera, so I don't know. Like, like he admitted to it too. So it's like, come on, dude. He is probably gonna get that for sure. But. Yeah. Thing has our fucking system sometimes fucked. They might just be like, mm, slap to the wrist and just move on. I mean, but... bro's 37. Like, walking <laughs> into a mall with a ski mask and a yeah. black duffel bag. Just being like, hey, by the way, I'll let you I'll let you know ahead of time. I'm a very cool guy. Get out of here. There's a bomb in there. <laughs> like... Yeah, 37 years old and he's <laughs> doing that shit, bro. <laughs> I've never even heard of this guy before. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, because it doesn't say that's his... how desperate he is for the limelight. Yeah, because he's all I mean, like talking about like not even a single thing about his channel or anything like that. Hold on, let me search it up actually. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like fake. He just like had to make an excuse, and that's the first thing he thought about. <laughs> yeah. On so many Joshua Jones on which and switch. Okay, that's that's why he did this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and so many. What the fuck? No, I'm not that one. I'm, oh my gosh! So like, come on, like 35 million of them. I'm one of them. Come on. 
well, hey, it worked out. Now he'll be the Joshua Jones that was known for making a bomb threat. Yep, he'll be like, yeah. he, what if that was like the beginning of his first video, and then it just didn't work out. Obviously, I mean, but still, it was just funny. Yeah. This channel starts off like that. That time I got arrested for fake bombing or something like that. But yeah, what are you guys' thoughts on this shit? Again. Uh, just about the same. Just about, It's literally kind of like the same story as the other one. So, same thing, really. I mean, well, yeah. this is different because it seems like this guy maybe just he just wanted to call a bomb threat and then he got caught and he was like, all right, what's an excuse? YouTubers. And yeah, that's kind of it, but it's just still dumb. It's <laughs> still <Yeah>. fucking... <laughs> and it, just an idiot doing idiot things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, they're always dumb, you know? Dumb people do stupid shit, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then again, though, it's like... Pretty... Prank channels have been pretty dead. Like, <laughs> there yeah. was a peak for them, obviously. And I mean, it's still relevant, but I feel like some people do pranks more properly, where, you know what I mean? You're not necessarily assaulting someone or like rage baiting them or like, yeah, false claiming something, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, like falsifying crap. That reminds me of like a, it was like the irony. Uh, you guys know who Jack Dorder is? whatever you say his name is jack daughter daughtery teeter totter yeah, yeah 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 uh, i saw a clip of him recently on youtube shorts and it was just foosy to railing him like so your pranks are fake huh huh no nah, just admit it bro and i was just like what the fuck? like what <laughs> of all people foosy but it's like i remember when his pranks were like peak you know what i mean like that's when that era kind of died out yeah and if you're saying yeah, like, pranks at like least... then when everyone thought it was real yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Fuzzy Tube is like hell of weird, bro. Just yeah. like, <laughs> like, bro, he keeps going. He keeps having a mental breakdown on the internet, going away, coming back, going away, coming back. Like, bro. Yeah, just... dude. Literally, there was a video of him on like the podcast with um Logan Paul. And he talks about he had like how he had like a boner when he was arrested one of his family members or something like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna clear. I remember like just being funny to me because like it was so out of nowhere. They're talking about yeah. like, something, and then he just brought up, "Oh yeah, I got a boner." You know, yeah. And I was wrestling one of my side members, and it's like, "What the fuck? What, like, where the fuck you got that out?" Like, Jesus, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> hey, you know, like we're flex, but okay. Yeah. But he's yeah. somehow keeping relevant, though. I mean, it's kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just—it's just unfortunately he's just keeping in the same crowd that um, Neon is in and fucking Aiden, Aiden Ross and shit. Yeah, I've seen him in a couple clips with like Aiden Ross too. Just bro, some people don't need platforms. I don't even. I've never watched any of Neon's content. I just don't like him. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Under anyone that guy's just a fucking that guy just does everything for he is a clout demon like i said that guy yep. is a clout demon like for real because um i guess uh, a week ago or so he bought a dog live on fucking his um stream like he yep. bought a dog and then like fucking a few days after he's like yeah i sold that dog i <laughs> i sold that dog back it's like all right bro you know, we know that this fool is not capable of even taking care of himself, let alone a fucking dog. Yeah. So I guess it was her the best, but, like, bro. Bro, bro was heartbroken over an OnlyFans model, bro, that broke up with him. That I don't even think was in a real relationship. I don't, because, even, I don't even know, man. This yeah, fucking guy is I saw about that, too. That fool was heartbroken, dude. And I'm like, bro, like, she sucks too many yeah. dick, bro. Why are, you, why, are you, why are you fucking heartbroken for her, bro? <laughs> Like, and she had like openly admitted about a whole bunch of stuff too. It was just like, yeah, it's kind of just with him because you know, he was chasing clout, and now look at me, I've got clout myself because it's just I was just with him. Yeah, <laughs> just like no filter, just, just straightforward with it. Just like, yeah, I, I used him, and he's just like, ah, come back, Martha. Ah, I miss you. I can change. Literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I fucking forgot about him too until you guys brought him up now. 
the fucking hell. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a topic in itself. Uh, just more of like some of these social media influencers mm-hmm. who are just like you were saying earlier, Leo, just think was a really good term for it. Just clout demons, because that's literally what they are at the time. Yeah. Just like, uh, I'm not popping right now. What can I do? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Just the most yeah, what, vile thing. Just let the what intrusive horrible, Yeah, what horrible, th- horrible thing I can I do or say right now so I can fucking, I don't know, get some attention. Mm-hmm. Like, people don't, like, you know, there's, um, like, I, I think Neon, I think, hey, he doesn't really have any real opinions. I, he just follows the flow of what's the most controversial contrarian take ever or thing that he can do ever. So, like, um, same thing with Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross for a while was like fucking going on this whole tirade about like, oh, there's only two genders. You know, you're a fucking LGBTs or fucking demons or whatever. And uh, then he stopped doing that because it just stopped getting him fucking attention. Uh, and they started doing other shit too. These guys, they just really love attention. They don't care about anything. They don't have real opinions. They just fucking, they see the number go up and that's what they think about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's why. Um, I mean, like I'm gonna be honest with you, I kind of did enjoy Andy Ross in the beginning. You what? I kind of enjoy watching. Get your stupid ass! I'm just kidding. Get this guy. Are you, are you talking about? Are you talking about old, old Andy Ross oh, back Aiden then? Ross. When he had um, like rappers on his fucking on his uh, streams and shit. Yeah, and he was like like acting sus and shit. Yeah, this was like funny to me back then. Like yeah, they had it. some funny clips. They had some funny clips. Yeah, that's kind of like why I kind of like watched him for a bit, but then like after a while, he just got like really fucking annoying, and I was like, Yeah, yeah he out. went to having he went from having fucking like rappers on his fucking stream on a daily to like just random weirdos that are fucking like saying weird shit on the internet. Like, bro, <laughs> he got the yeah. basement Reddit dwellers, bro. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, recent, I go uh, ahead. Yeah. Sorry, I was just gonna say, like the most recent clip I saw with him was like his Discord moderators <laughs> with like two handicapped people going back and forth. And I'm like, what am I watching right now? It's just a YouTube short, and I was like, what? What is? Is this his content now? Was this the guy who was <laughs> who was like best friends with our Lord and Savior Top G? Like, are you kidding me, dude? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it's kind of fucking funny, but yeah, I mean, yeah, he's just I don't know, just annoying, just to fucking even look at, even mention. Yeah, but, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, we can just get the fuck away from this topic before we fucking become cloud chasers ourselves. Yeah. I guess I don't know. I'm not really. It's I don't right, know, right. but right. <laughs> just. <laughs> All right, well, um, okay, well, moving on to uh, anime related. Okay. Anime of the year. Do you guys know who it was that won that? Yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen season two. What are you guys' thoughts on that? You Very guys... deserved, yeah. I mean, it's uh, not a bad pick. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, they won Hello Wars at that, um, that oh, show, yeah. too. Oh, a bunch. Yeah, I was looking into that, but um, let me pull it up actually. See what they want, because they want Halo. Okay, found it. They went, they won the year, the anime of the year, and like 10 more awards. So 11 awards they won. Yeah. Uh, so, anime of the year, obviously, they won. Let's see. Okay, so best character design is one of them. Uh, best director, best cinematography, best action, best supporting character, uh, best opening sequence, best ending sequence. Uh, let's see. Uh, best voice actor performance, Portuguese. Um. 
and best voice art artist performance French. Uh, and yeah, that's what's showing me for now. But that's a lot they won. Yeah. I mean, I think it's deserved too. You know, to be honest with you, I thought it would be a tag on Titan because the amount of people that were just like no, watching no this year. No way, Attack on Titan deserves a fucking anime of the year, bro. That shit. That was like movie, <laughs> and it was it was all right, but we already knew the conclusion like way fucking back. Yeah. Yeah. And I just don't think it also like it, it had some like the movie itself had some good fucking action shots and character or character drama i guess if you want to yeah. call it that mm -hmm. um but like i think season two to uh jujutsu, jujutsu kaisen just like took the year straight up that's what yeah. everyone was talking about everyone's still talking about it even yeah. after it ended yeah yeah people were like there was like so much fucking like videos about it just, like all that it's just like how it spread like wildfire you know yeah, and, everyone fucking loved it, and yeah, well really good shit. Yeah, just like like the fight scenes as well, and all that. Like, it was just like, I mean, it's Bangers. so cool. Just, yeah, bangers. It's, it's cool seeing that. Like, like I remember people didn't know anything about just because, and like they were like hyped for like the anime to be like for the to be anime. I didn't even know what the fuck yeah. it was, and then seeing it now, I'm like, dude, it's like he, you know, it's like this fire. Mm -hmm. And one thing um, that um some people were complaining, I guess somewhat complaining about is um that it didn't win at best animation because that went to Demon Slayer, which like fair, like fair Ufudobo, they fucking provide some clean animation. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. Clean composition. So they 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 deserve it, but I think if um uh I think if Mappa gave the artist enough time to finish the fucking Sukuna versus Maharaga fight, they would have taken that. They would have taken that fucking award too. Yeah, dude, I'm still 100%. like, I'm still like, damn, that was like only like thirty percent done, just like, and it looks so good, like thirty yeah. percent, like holy fuck, <clears throat> not even then, full strength. <laughs> yeah, actually, it actually. was. It just, I wouldn't. I would have loved to see like that if they had given if they had been given that time to like finish it and to see the full yeah. potential of it. It's so like it would have been so much fucking cooler, you know. But. You know, you know, Mappa will be obviously Mappa, you know, rushing their workers and all that. Oh, yeah. But damn, I mean, hopefully, we get, hopefully, they get that more time, you know, for next season and see how they do well with that. I think they will. Yeah. Even with I feel the, like the added on One Piece and like the Chainsaw Man movie and all that, too. When the pressure's on, they perform. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Um, Good job that they're making that. I feel, yeah, I feel like, um, I, you, you, okay, so you guys hear that, um, the One Punch Man, th uh, season three announced, yes, sir. And it was uh, by the, yeah. um, and it was by the same studio that made the second season, um, which notoriously no one liked because of the animation. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> this time, the you know, the promo, the, tra the trailer actually looks fucking banging, not gonna lie. The Actually, it looks bro. fucking insane. The, the way they just did Garo, bro, kind of fucking crazy. I'm kind of hyped for it, but like, you know, they're you know, I don't know. Maybe hopefully, because I guess it was um, they were also overworked and you know on a time uh time frame, so they had to like rush most of the work. I'm guessing as to why season two uh didn't come out, you know, as good as, as season one. Yeah. So I mean, I think it'll be sick. I hopefully it'll be sick. I don't think I've seen it, but let me pull it up actually. I'll oh, trailer. Really? Yeah, I haven't seen it. It's pretty good. It's like a small teaser trailer. It's Yo. still pretty good. Is it two minutes and twenty four seconds long? And... Oh, you can see God. it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna give it a watch. Okay. Live reaction. Thumb cast. Yeah. The bumper bump cast.
彼はリミッターが外れていた、oh, どんなに努力を重ねても生物の成長には制限が設けられている大丈夫すぎる力は持ち主に負担がかかり不具合を生じさせるあるいは貧数を失った怪人のように暴走を起こすことも、oh, sure. Oh, damn. Damn. That actually looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's just banging. Yeah, I'm definitely hyped for it. I'm glad they didn't really show us too much. They just showed us enough. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. That was pretty. Yeah, I'm kind of fucked. Yeah, because I ever seen the first. I, to be honest with you, I really noticed the difference in animation, like first season one and two at first. Are you real? Are you for real? Yeah. Really? Like, like be for real? Yeah, yeah. Do you have glasses? I have them now. <laughs> I didn't have them back then, though. Bro, what? How do you not see the dip? I'm about to pull it up. <laughs> It's like a major difference, even especially in the fight scenes, bro. Oh my god, season two looks so fucking horrible. Fuck, man. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I'm retarded with that kind of crap. No, like, I, I, I think you just don't remember. I think you just don't remember how bad season two was.、Uh, it's been forever. Probably. I mean. Yeah, it's been, it's that, been forever, just... so you just don't remember. Hey. I mean, when did season two come out? Like, 20, like. Like, what, like 18, 19? Four or five years ago. Yeah.、Uh, uh, let me search up season two release date. Season two, 2019. Like, what the heck happened? Like, Damn, 2019. Damn. Dang, bro. That's season one. I'm searching up right now. Oh, shit. So far, though, with like speculation wise, for me personally, I hope Gara beats Saitama's ass. Gara, bro. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's all about us, too. Yeah, it, it's the kind of like, because I see it as like, he was like how Saitama was in the beginning.、Mm-hmm. But, you know, he kind of, Saitama's just been lazy with it because he's just like,、eh, I'm just that strong now. But Gara's、yeah. continuously like, Consistently still building power and getting stronger and stronger.、Mm. When meanwhile, Satama just kind of gave up doing that whole thing because he figured, okay, I'm at this point, no one can stop me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Get my boy Gar up there. It's wraps. I've got five Dogecoin on it. <laughs>、mm. Oh, fuck. I'm, I, you know, I literally forgot that. Uh, Nampa was also working on the Chainsaw Man movie.、Um, yeah. 
but yeah, it, it, I kind of forgot about that shit at first until like you guys mentioned it again. But uh, I wonder like how they're gonna continue with that story, like from the movie to like like how well they're gonna make it. Which I hope they, you know, they do a good job, you know, and not be rushed. But well, uh, give the movie. I think they're gonna have um. I think they're gonna maybe give them more time to produce some high quality shit. I mean, they have to, right? Because yeah. movies are usually known for like animation, mm. like mm. the best, generally. But like, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I I'm pretty sure it'll be good. Mappa's. I mm-hmm. I don't know. I I, I think I, I I think I trust Mappa at this point. You know, because even though it has some like blunders, like um. I forgot what show it was they 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 adapted that people hella hated because it came out poorly. Mm-hmm. Um, I never seen it though, but so, but from given from what they've done for you know Attack on Titan, uh, Jitsu Kaisen, Chainsaw Man, I think I bl- I think I trust them more than than most studios. Mm-hmm. What's it called? It's also that Demon Slayer movie, the like that training arc they have. Yeah, well, that's Ufutable. That's um, <clears throat> yeah, that's not. But that, but... yeah, yeah, I know. But I'm talking about like the movie that they they have coming up too. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Well, I mean, Demon Slayer, like I said, they fucking just have always really good animation. Yeah. Like if you just even from the, like the movie different movie to the show difference, there's like almost no difference. It's high quality. It's yeah. all high quality. Yeah. They don't like put it down bit or raise it. You know, it's like they keep it like at the same level. You know. Like, yeah, you know, like compared to like how like some other like some animes like they have like, you know, low quality and then they move it to movies and they have like the whole shit ton of like high quality and you're like, what the fuck? Where is that in the show? You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, the difference is budget, right? Because yeah, that's yeah. Budget. Like yeah. it seems like football knows how to spend their money properly. Yeah, and there's also that fucking the uh, fuck the Fate series, dude. Fucking, uh-huh. they have. I never seen it. Yeah, I, I, fuck, I, I stopped watching it because of the fucking timelines. But there's like, they have like, like, you know, decent quality in like the shows. And in the movies, they have like the highest quality ever. With the shit ton of money they fucking like make from just their games. Like their games is like what gives them like the most money from what I heard. Because yeah. they, they, they sell like these fucking like orbs. Like I used to play it, but I never bought anything from it. Um, but like they sell them like really expensive, like for like ten just to summon one like character, like twenty bucks for, which I don't like. Like I don't know who will buy that, but apparently gamblers, gamblers yeah, gamblers they do, just to get a fucking three star, and not get anything else after that. Yeah, that's me for real. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, you know it's like. Like, how people, you know, just, like, have that, you know, that sense that they want to fucking, you know, waste that much money just for a character they'll have a 5% five percent chance of getting, you know? And that's how much, like, they, like, you know, that's, like, where the majority of their money comes from. Just the gamblers just spending money on them. Which, I don't know. I mean, it's it's cool and all, but, like, make their anime and shit. But, like, it's just, like, not even worth even, like, wasting that much, you know? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but yeah it's yeah it's like yeah i mean i don't know i just think that's just like crazy mm-hmm. definitely yeah <laughs> all right well um yeah you guys all right anything about the anime of the world that's what did we originally talk before i took us out of it definitely i'm seeing a lot of gojo seeing a lot of like it, and like you're saying earlier way earlier like a lot of people were like interested in jujitsu, jujitsu kaisen like the second season and we're just like dang this is actually fire without actually ever watching the anime which is kind of yeah. interesting because like you know you're gonna have those bandwagon people you know what i mean just like oh okay but yeah. it actually brought in like a whole wave of like a new audience and like literally my algorithm for like anime channels was just nothing but just did you two kaizen content for like a, a good month yeah like a lot of people come up with these like lame ass theories 
like, oh, Gojo is secretly training his like twin sister. He has. I'm like, what? Who? <laughs> yeah. Fucking like, I don't know, some lame ass theories they they came up with, which like doesn't add into the story at all. But yeah, it's it's, it's just funny just like seeing these like new fans, you know, like just talking about it, you know, being fucking goofy and shit. But well, you're talking about like you're not a new fan either, bro. <laughs> we're, I we're all we're basically one, bro dude yeah that's still new that we're we're all new fans here because season one <laughs> didn't come out to like what like fucking 2018 2020 okay but yeah. we were ogs okay we watched it when it first came out we're valid yeah. okay we've been waiting like... for season two yeah. other people were just like oh what's this who's this blue-eyed white-haired dude he seems funny <laughs> no nah, i mean I guess I don't know. Not to press anybody, but I'm just saying. Listen, listen. <laughs> we're the dumb cast. We're valid, okay? We're valid, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I just, I just don't think that <laughs> goofing on new fans is like, like whatever. No, you know? it's never. A like, at the same time, I still consider it. I still consider it like because it's a, it's a very new anime. It's still a very new True. anime, and so I don't think there's like a big distinction yet. For like OG f- mm-hmm. fans, if yeah. an extinction now is always the one that's um that's always been is ma- manga versus anime, and that's the only <laughs> that's the only one that'll ever be really. Okay, uh, this our distinction can be uh, we've been fans of Mappa since their birth. We know all of their families like like in real life. Yeah, they. I mean, yeah, we helped build up together. their studio in yeah. the beginning. You know what I mean? We left the, we left them, and then like what happened? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it, but that was because of our teachings, though. You know, they yeah. couldn't have made it without us. We were like a stepping stone for them. By the yeah. way, it was created in 2011. In case you didn't know, <laughs> in June 14th, you know, <clears throat> we walked so they could okay. run. Yeah, I've got that date tattooed, you know, as a tramp uh-huh. stamp, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. <clears throat> Checks out. <laughs> Right. Telling you, we're valid, bro. We're valid. I'm just vouching for us. All right, we're but right, I've been advised right. by my lawyer I should probably shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a text. Stop your yapping. I can't. I can't keep on defending you like this. All right. Uh, all right. Well, yeah, we can move on from anime then. Um, okay. A Welsh man breaks the world record for having sixty nine. Rabbit tattoos. That's <laughs> nice. a lot of dedication. Why rabbits? I have no clue, but I will read what it says here. Oh, it's because he has his love for a certain animal. For that specific animal. Oh, gee. His name is Craig Evans. He is 42 years old. He's this guy. He said he got his first tattoo in 2009. And now he has a total of 69 rabbits inked to his arms, legs, and chest. And I quote, I love the aesthetics of a rabbit, Evans told Guinness World Records. They're such cute creatures. And getting something so cute as a tattoo is usually renowned for being a tough person thing. It's something I really like. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any pet rabbits, as I have a terrier called Birdie. I don't think that would be a good pairing, but I love him very much, he said. Um, Evan said Birdie is the subject of his non-rabbit tattoo. But even that tattoo shows that the canine wearing a bunny banana bandana to keep the theme running. Something like I don't know. Um Yeah, that's all it says. He just really loves rabbits. Well, that's pretty wholesome. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna drop ship him a whole bunch of rabbit feet. Um, yeah. For good luck. For good luck. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one's another Guinness World Record. <clears throat> um, an Oregon woman earned Guinness World Record for her unusual tongue size. Um, oh. an Oregon woman earned a Guinness World Record for her unusual size tongue, which has circumference to five point twenty one inches. Damn. Damn. I got to go back to Oregon. (laughs) (laughs) Shit. 
Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. There's nothing much about it. Just <laughs> okay. Yeah, we don't need to talk about the tongues no more. Yeah. Well, I mean, just, just just one more comment. Just one more. No one. You know how convenient that must be, getting stuff out of like cups and jars for her. Is you have to use your fingers or hands, you know anything, you know. Yeah, bottom of the uh, bottom of the <laughs> fucking cup, and you just want to like the last piece off. <laughs> she can actually reach it. You can get the last Pringle in the fucking can, just, just go down. Yeah. Here. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. All right. Well, these are the news topics I have. The rest are just about us. But I know you guys have some topics that are news related. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Darf, hit us with one, please. Whoa, whoa, dude! I don't believe in domestic violence. I apologize. Please say. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I only yep. to clarify. I only believe in equal rights, equal fights. If she swings first, you're obligated to swing back. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> well, so have you guys heard about anything about the uh, the Willy Wonka experience? Oh yeah. I yeah. Heard about the event. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It happened in uh in Scotland. It was uh Scotland. Forty-four dollars per ticket. Uh huh. So, like, if a family of four wanted to go, that's like, dude, like a hundred and sixty dollars, almost two hundred bucks. Yeah. And it was just, it was an abandoned warehouse, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My uh, my friend Tamari was telling me about it. I'm like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? And uh, they were sending me screenshots of like the event, and their website's still up. And their entire website is AI generated. Like every the event oh, organization yeah. and like all the scripts, the voice actors, like paid actors they paid to be there, all had AI written scripts that made no sense. And uh, <laughs> geez, dude, <I'm laughs> yeah. And what ended up happening was a lot of parents called the cops <laughs> on the really? event. <laughs> Yeah, well, because also, they I, I don't know what their thought process was, but there was the Shadow Man, who's not canonly in Willy Wonka, but it's just this dude in, like, black face paint who hides behind, like, a little cover and jumps out and scares kids. <laughs> yeah. And besides that, scaring the kids and the event on the website said it's supposed to be around like 40 minutes long for like the tour. Yeah. It, it, it's a two minute walkthrough at most. <laughs> yeah. And the actors were told to hand out half a cup of lemonade juice and a single jelly bean per kid. Oh my God. That's so bad. <laughs> what the Bro, fuck? Who organized the event? Fucking... Mr. Krabs, like, what kind of cheesecake? <laughs> what kind of cheesecake fucking did this shit? That's crazy, bro. That's fucked, dude. <laughs> yeah. And, like, where they could take pictures and all that, like, in the background, uh, it was just, like, some shitty, yeah. like, tapestry from, like, Candyland. Like, an actual Candyland tapestry. Like, a super small, like, background. Yeah. And Willy Wonka was a. <laughs> the dude came out about it. This is his own words. He was like, I don't really understand why they hired me for Willy Wonka. If anything, I'm more suited for an Oompa Loompa. I mean, look at me. I'm pale and I'm a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. That's just fucking crazy. At the same time, I don't like, I feel bad for the whoever got scammed because this is, a, this is just a scam. But I feel bad whoever got scammed. But at the same time, like, I seen the AI pictures, like the fucking the promo pictures, and they look so obviously AI. I don't know how. I don't know how yeah. you can legitimately get scammed from that. I, who knows, bro? Even on their website, it was just all grammatically incorrect. Like, the words, like, put together, some of them were incorrectly spelled. And uh, 
the dude who organized the event, he came out and apologized. But he said that there was a delay because they were waiting for holographic paper technology. <laughs> and that's why all this happened, basically. Bruh. I don't think holographic... I'm not a... I don't work at MIT, but... I don't think holographic paper is a real thing. <clears throat> What'd you say? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What'd you say? The guy uh, who organized the event, he came out and said that... Uh, <laughs> he was sorry for the delay. Some people were going to be getting refunds. Not everyone got the refund yet. Uh, but the main reason for all this happening was a delay in, like packaging and like shipping of like certain products and like other necessities they needed but instead of rescheduling they just kind of were just like yeah whatever use what we got and <laughs> but his what? main thing he brought up was the delay in holographic paper okay i don't know what that is he was like, he was like praising holographic technology for some reason holographic pokemon cards like what yeah <laughs> so i'm thinking about right now the hell holographic paper oh, it's what just, just pulled a hollow <laughs> walker bro, just buy one from like the 99 cents store what the fuck yeah you can get one for like i don't know wait where this takes place in like here in the united states or where no it was in scotland oh yeah scotland yeah i forgot yeah wow <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, I don't know how they would have done it. I mean, bro, the Oompa Loompas look high as hell, bro. Look at their, look at their faces, bro. There's like an image of one, too, where it was this female, and she just looks so disappointed to be there. Bro, she's like, yeah, she's right there at the, yeah. she's at the table just looking depressed, bro. Yeah, and like, if you see any of the images or like look at the table, it doesn't even have anything Willy Wonka related. It's like beakers and like random crap. It's just like. <laughs> Is that the guy who played Willy Wonka? I mean, he's a ginger guy. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, I feel like they should have rescheduled and probably come up with like a better like plan how they would have like done it because i feel like this is what they felt this felt kind of rush in my opinion like kind of. yeah well not kind of but yeah um <laughs> like yeah you know like they could just like reschedule give themselves more time you know and make it to like the best as they could you know not just this shit they just toss around you know and actually come up with a fucking proper script not just something AI generated, which is something that people rely on every fucking day. But anyways, yeah, like, just, you know, just make it fucking, you know, take your time, you know? Yeah. But look what the outcome came to. Fucking shit, you know? I mean, that's my thoughts, you know? Yeah, I mean, it happened in Scotland, though, so it's like, jeez, bro. Yeah, Scotland. Had been America, I feel like it would have been way worse. Oh yeah, parents would like be outraged. Like, no, uh, parents were just, sued. Yeah, I just feel bad for the the actors. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. And hopefully they got paid enough to even just, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Which I mean it's not really their fault. All what was that? What you eating? Rice with pork. Nice. nice. But yeah, I mean, I feel like they could have just, you know, I mean, I don't, I mean, I kind of feel bad for the actors though, because I mean, I'm pretty sure they were kind of excited to play a role, you know, like, and then they just get fucked over like that with these like shitty scripts and like poor fucking like just set up. But that kind of sucks for them, you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay, bro. Get off my wavelength, okay? Bro, get off my dick, bro. Oh my no, bro, you're bro, you're meat right bro, around. Pop you're it out. Pop it out, out bro. Pop it out of your mouth, bro. Pop it out of your mouth, bro. You first. Pop you, it out first. Your mouth, bro. you first. You first. No, you first. No, bro. 
This is gross, okay? You can't be touching, okay? All right, bro. All right, bro. I see. Not that cheap, dog. Okay? I expect the PayPal Man. payment received soon. You're so, you're so cheap, you get paid in pesos, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Right, right, right. But when you convert it to Turkish money and Islamic, mm. you get the rupees mm. from Egypt and you bring it back mm. to America. Boom, okay. infinite money glitch. Infinite money glitch. You're welcome. Hold up. I did not follow that. I didn't. Hey, good. Uh, I'm on a list now. The FBI list, of course. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't say the same for you, though. No, no, no. I'm not. You're still me writing, bro. Get off of me, dude. Mm -hmm. Man, literally still having it in your mouth, bro. That's crazy, bro. I mean, let me breathe. Let my dick breathe, bro. Come on, bro. It's turning purple, bro. Bro, let your mind breathe, dude. You're just thinking about me all day, 24-7, man. Don't you oh, have my God, dude. Process? This guy is just, this guy texts me every day, all night, bro. Like, whoa, baby, come whoa, back to whoa, bed, whoa, bro. Whoa. I miss you. I only text bro. you because you didn't call me pooky like usual, okay? <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that, huh? And yeah, you didn't say good on. night. You only said you night. Just... <laughs> You said night. What was the good night? Huh? Why can't it be a good night? Why is it just night? Huh? Night yeah. period. Yeah, that's you. What's you it? did that. No, you did that. Why? Okay, now you're gaslighting. No. You this did guy's that. gaslighting. I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? I don't think that's a real word. <laughs> Alexa, what does gaslighting mean? <laughs> 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 See, even Alexa doesn't know. You, you gaslit her too. What, what's up with that, man? I don't know. You don't know. All I know is, you didn't say good night. You just said night. Period. All I know is, you got another topic. What's up? <laughs> whoa, whoa! I never said that. See, see, this is gaslighting. I, this is gaslighting. <laughs> bro, he still doesn't know what it means. That's crazy, bro. What? He doesn't know what that fake word means. That's crazy. Bro, this guy loves gaslighting, man. Bro, you love gas? What? Gas pedal. Huh? What? Mm, what? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> no, go ahead. By all means. Who? You. The only other. <laughs> See, you got it in your mouth now. Okay, never mind. I guess. I guess. That was Jose. He's got the shit in his mouth 24-7, bro. What, food? Yeah. If you call cock food, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. No, it's yeah, what you eat. Whatever your culture is. Pork and rice. <laughs> <laughs> is that the safe word? Like, what is that? I no, it's, it's just China. pork and rice. I want me to. Who's mom? Is that like your BDSM buddy or something? Like, <laughs> no, that your... um, <laughs> I have nothing to say to back that up, actually. <laughs> uh, oh. I'm trying to, like, okay, never mind. What, what, what are you going to say? Enjoy the meat going into your mouth with a little white oh, around I, it. I, <laughs> I enjoy the pork oh. meat with the green sauce. Oh. And the rice on the side. I mean, at least he's humble about it, you know, and you kind of respect it. Yeah. Yeah, food is good, you know, you should, yeah. should try that. It's really, it's like like really new, respect, it's a you new, know. It's a new thing on the A certain person the going with their topic. <clears throat> yeah, Jose. They see another one, Darf. What? Dude. Yeah, two. Okay, I don't know the definition of gaslighting, but I'm being gaslit. <laughs> I never said that. You said what? Hmm? Chicken butt. Oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, Johnny, you chill. Mm. Oh, delightful. <laughs> Quite the chill. Quite delightful. Hmm, delightful. Great, great joke. Hmm. All right. No topics for you guys? You guys don't have any? I don't have any. Wait, what? I don't know. Could have sworn you had. Yeah. The top. I do. I'm asking, but you say yeah, too, though. Who did? Leo? Yeah, no, that's what I'm asking him to say his topics. He's not saying them. I didn't say I have to. What the hell? <laughs> nah, you're gaslighting me. What the hell? You don't even know what that word means. Dude, like, so, oh, it's not even a real word, and it's you're chill, using bro. it, bro. What is what is he yapping about now, bro? <sighs> yapping. What is yapping anyway, bro? <laughs> well, you should know your mouth's always open. 
right. Man, yours is always closing around my dick, bro. I want to get off my shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, truce. Truce, cease fire. Cease fire. Uh, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, Jose. Yeah, Darf. Oh, okay. <laughs> bro, what is going on? <laughs> I don't know, bro. All right. <laughs> All right. They started it, so. Yeah. Let's point fingers, but I'm just saying. Teacher, he started it. No. <laughs> All right. So, what's the funniest stories you guys like, like, have happened to you? Or just something you witnessed that was so funny? And that's, uh, I don't know. Just something goofy. Something goofy, dumb. Um, scary uh just anything that you just like you remember like vividly well hmm. um hmm. it's a good one that's a good one let's see uh, i have one go mm -hmm. so this happened in la of course. Um, LA Arc. <clears throat> um, we was living in this like uh, four room uh, apartment, and uh, yeah, sure. Hold on, give me a minute. So um, my bad. Um, so this is this is a it's a four room uh, apartment. Um, not four room, a three room apartment. Okay. And um, we, I used to sleep in like one of my brother's. One room was Tate. No, it was a two room. My bad, I'm stupid. Right. <laughs> so it was a, the rooms were kind of across from each other, and we slept from we slept all in one room while my parents slept in the other. Okay. And then like one night, a tweaker managed to break into the apartment, like uh, Dang. like compound. Yeah. And you just hear him just screaming, just like, like, just like that, like, like howling, you know, like he was howling. Yeah. And we're like, what the fuck was that? And then like my mom like looks through the window and she sees that crackhead, her fucking tweaker just, just walking around just like, you know, like just screaming like a fucking, I don't know what the fuck it was, but we're like, what the fuck? And then my mom like called the cops and shit. And eventually he started banging on one of like the neighbors like door, door. just like just screaming for like something. Like we couldn't really understand because he was just mum. He's like, -doo -doo, like just like that. <laughs> and he just kept doing that. And eventually the cops they managed to get him and arrest him and took him to jail. And that's I don't know, it wasn't like a scary, but it was just like a weird fucking thing for like a trigger to just walk in like that and just start making noises like that. At least in that apartment, I guess. Yeah, Bro, it was just something. Just, yeah, it was just, it was weird, but funny, you know. I got a story. Then you can't. You reminded me of one. Just no. <laughs> oh my god! So, uh, we have this neighbor literally across the street from us. Yeah. He was a little bit, you know. How do I put this in? He rode the short bus. I guess the best way to put it. <clears throat> <laughs> But, you know, he, he seemed pretty cool, you know, I mean, he just really didn't talk much. But one thing he would always do that was so random, he would just, whenever I would, like, go outside, I would see him, like, in the window, always 24-7, just hanging out the window. Like I said, hanging out the window, looking at stuff, or, like, petting his cat. And then mm -hmm. randomly, for, like, I don't know what started it, but for, like, the next couple weeks, bro just started throwing random stuff out the window. So, but it would all be consistently the one, like the one same thing. It's so like one day it was just like a whole thing of like a whole pack of yoohoos, like the glass yoohoos just scattered across like the yard. Bruh. Then like the next day or so it was like banana peels. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, how are you eating all these potassium overload, bro? Are you okay? Just trying to make someone trip. Yeah. <laughs> Mario Kart head ass, bro. <laughs> I've been watching too much Mario Kart. Yeah. But uh I mean it, it was just so much random shit. I remember one time it was popcorn too. But then eventually it got to a point where 
we did have to call the cops on him because he, I forget what, it was like, um, fuck, I forget what it was. It might've been the Yoohoo's, but it was some glass bottles. He was just throwing into the street. Mm, yeah. And I was just like, bro, I felt so bad, but we went over there and talked to him and then he was like, I'm sorry. And I was just like, ah, it's okay, man. You're good, man. You're good. And the cops are just like, well. You have, you know, what you have to do now. He's like, yeah, and he, they gave him like some gloves, and they were helping him clean it up out the street. I'm just like, oh man, I feel bad now, but at least he's learned his lesson, kind of. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I remember sitting outside one time. I was fucking with some spider. I think that was Gertrude at the time. God, I miss her. Uh, I was just doing some weird shit, monologuing, making a video from like for safe keeps, you know what I mean? And the whole time, bro, we just like sat outside and was just staring at me. And then he asked me if I was okay, like I was the tard. And I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like oh yeah, I'm good, bro, I'm good. I know it's, it's 2 a.m. and I've got my flashlight on talking in the middle of the night, talking about, oh man, this is so sick, bro, fuck yeah. <laughs> just like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm good, thanks. I'm like, chilling, I'm chilling. <laughs> I think, I think I was on that short bus too. <laughs> Hardest yeah, on and everything. <laughs> but yeah. Right. Oh, I have another story that it's like kind of more fucked up story. Uh, so this happened in LA in middle school, and it was a big friend group I had. Um, one of the friends I had there was his name was um, uh, his name was Carlos, right? Fuck the face, um, Carlos. Fuck yeah, the face. like that's his full title. Like Carlos, fuck the face. <laughs> well, Carlos, Carlos, fuck the face. Okay, he. Okay, well, he looks fucked up. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. You know, I used to hang out with him, and we had another friend of ours named like DJ or something like that, or C. I don't know. I, I don't know. His, I started with a D, and it's like ended with a J or something like that. Okay, DJ. <laughs> I'm saying DJ, you know. But I don't know. <laughs> You just said DJ again. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But anyways, yeah. So DJ, I'm just calling DJ, bro. But uh, he was, okay. Uh, he um he was abandoned by his parents. Oh his, damn! His, his grandma. And um, okay, okay, hold up. He was abandoned. <laughs> his, uh, he was abandoned by his parents. Okay, I'm all let me stay. Let me show what happened first before I continue. Bro, why do you do that? Why you fucking we're like all oh, DJ aha uh -huh, and they're like, yeah, he was a bad I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Out of nowhere. Hold up. Okay, hold up. <clears throat> okay. What the hell? Okay, so DJ was abandoned by his parents. Um <laughs> right, <stop>. oh, bro. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. You're the oh, one bro. telling the story. I'm You're stopping. Bro, he little laughs, and I have to laugh, bro. <laughs> it's just, it's so funny. It's okay. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Well, DJ was the batter by his turns, right? <laughs> so, um, okay. <clears throat> I'm locked in. Hold up. <clears throat> locked in. All right, I'm locked in. So he was abandoned by his parents to his grandma, right? And his, um, these are sneaker. I can hear you. <laughs> okay, well, you'll have to start right there. Just, I mean, just, okay, I'm good now. I'm good. It's been <laughs> every day, like, every day for like... summer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, but yeah, everyone knew that he didn't have any parents, right? And they live with his grandma. So one day we're just like arguing for some reason, and then like Carlos, like kind of like knew a way how to piss him off with that, right? He walks up to DJ. And he's like, your mom, like talking about like your mom, you know, like where's she at? And he's like, well, I don't know. I never seen her. He's like, yeah, because he was fucking with me. And I kind of got him upset and he just walked away. And then later, Carlos walks up to him he, and he gives him his iPhone. He's like, here, play games on my phone so you can feel better. And then like DJ was like, fuck you. And he smacks the phone off his fucking like. Uh, his hand and it just like falls down the stairs because we we're like, like our class were like, um, like three story high, I guess. Three story, high, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But like he smacked it off his hand and it fell straight down the stairs. And he didn't even bother to fight him because he knew he fucked up with that shit. 
and you know it was it was like I guess like LA has a bunch of assholes there. So everyone's laughing. I was laughing too. But <laughs> I'll say we felt bad afterwards, you know. But yeah, I mean it was kinda of fucked up, you know. Or not kinda of, it was fucked up, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a fucked up story I had in mind. I just remember. <laughs> okay. I I I mean I think of the I think the most fucked up part of that story was you know a different part, but you know that's just you know this is my own take on that. Yeah, it was weird. The, the, <laughs> the DJ part. No, no, I mean, hey, you said it. You said it. <laughs> yeah, you said it. I, mean, not I, can't, I can't even finish it because then they start sniggering afterwards, and I just I just you started laughing, bro. You st- <laughs> but then you guys laughed at the DJ part, but then I thought we stopped, but then I heard you just. <laughs> Giggling in the background, <laughs> just... bro. It's because you fucking after that you're like, yeah, his he, his parents abandoned him. By the way, after we were laughing at the dude's name, <laughs> and then every single time we're like, okay, tie it down, lock in. So his parents abandoned <laughs> abandoned him, and abandoned then him. <laughs> like, bro, he started so... that sentence like six different times. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I try to finish, but I can. Oh, wow, that's a move. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm walking in. Good. All right. Leo, um I'm guessing you don't have any stories then? I don't know. I I can only really think of a fucked up shit that happened. <laughs> I can't remember. Damn, any are you, you good, bro? <laughs> uh, not really like like that fucked up. Uh-huh. It's just because they're like more, uh, I guess memorable. I think it's the same. Because like, I remember one time. Because I remember the one memory is like it's not funny at all, but it's just a fucked up thing that happened. I remember one time there was these like back then there was these kids that were um also from because we're in an apart- apartment complex. We used to live in an apartment complex. And um, there's these kids that used to hang out all the time um, near this uh, this area where there's like a picnic table, they're overshade. There's like a built-in barbecue fucking thing grill. And mm-hmm. uh, there's this kid who was like, I think he was just doing like backflips or some shit. The, I don't know why, like little kid shit, I guess. I, I wasn't there. I was just like in front of my apartment, like just sitting down, staring. Not them, but like looking at everything. But then I see this kid do a backflip, and as he was trying to recover, he like kind of slipped a little bit, or he was like stumbling while trying to recover. So he went head first into one of the fucking beams and just cracked his fucking his skull. It's basically his skull, right open, and immediately it started leaking, immediately like pouring. And I was like, oh. "Whoa, fuck, <laughs> yo!" And then. The- <laughs> As you can imagine, as kids are, they they started fucking panicking, and I was like, "Yo!" And that's it. I don't know what. I, <laughs> <laughs> I do know. I do know what happened. I do know what happened. But like, there's this um, uh, there was this lady that used to also live in the apartments too. That um, she like uh, I guess, uh, I guess the like the ghetto nurse lady, like the hood nurse. You know, she kind of <laughs> if everyone was fucked up, she would she would know how to fix it. Because I remember this one time, this kid it was like. He had a fucking a coin lodged in his throat, and she like fucking unlodged it by fucking shoving her hand down it, or whatever. Uh-huh. So I guess, yeah, because he, I don't know why, I don't know how this fool got a fucking quarter like shoved down his throat. He was just like suffocating. So then she just fucking just yanked it out bare hands, and it was like, oh god, gross. But uh, anyway, she like actually stitched his skull up. His fucking this guy, this uh, kid. Damn. So, you know that's cool, I guess. That's one memory that I, that I remember. Um, the other memories, I j- they're just like drive-bys that happen uh, over there, and that's kind of it. Drive-bys. Damn. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like these, are, they're not like <laughs> they're just like memories. I remember because, like, oh uh, yeah, I remember when I was when it was fucking dot 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 or some shit happened. Like, okay, cool. That's kind of. I can't. I can't remember anything funny happening though. <laughs> I just, I just don't remember anything funny. I don't well, know. I can say one. Um, this happened here in, in Marford. Um, so 
it was like the last day of school for like a uh, sophomore year. And uh, yeah. I wanted to hang out with friends, but like no one was like available. So you'll miss school that day, I think. Um, probably, probably. I don't know who didn't hang out with Rolando. That fucker just vanished. Don't know where he went. So I'm going to talk about alone. And then I was walking out, I see two of, uh, two of my friends. Uh, I won't say their names, though. They don't want to be mentioned. Actually, I'll say well name because they were on here. Jordan. And he was okay. with another friend. Um, um, you know, they were walking together. And they're like, oh, you know, what's up, Jose? I'm like, what's up, dude? And we we're talking for a bit. <clears throat> and I bought him food. And then he's like, you know, yeah. coming out with us at the, at the trail, you know, that was like behind the school. I'm oh, like, yeah. fuck it, you know? So we're going there, walking there, chilling, you know? And then we're like right there, like kind of like we're like st- stairs are really up high. You know, yeah, yeah, and really tiring to get back up, then going down, obviously. And there's this part near the stairs where you can like climb down and just run straight down like the the cliff or okay. the hill, I guess. And I guess during that time, Jordan was kind of like, you know, like a daredevil, you know, just anything you know he can try, you know, go try. And okay. of course, my other friend told him like, hey, you know, like. You should go down that spot we know. And I'm like, what spot? And then he's like, he's on show right now. So then I go up the stairs with, you know, my two friends. Jordan gets on, like, gets off, like, the stairs. And he's running down the hill. And then I don't know, for a split second, I hear him say, Oi, oh, fuck. And then he, like, trips <laughs> and just rolls down. And we're like, whoa. And then, like. I, I immediately just like I just like <laughs> like what the fuck and like my other friend runs down and we're running down just to check on him and he's just laying there. We thought he died, die, bro. <laughs> he's just there, but he's like groaning. He's like, oh, that's the wrong one. And we're like, like to you, okay? And he's like, yeah. And he, like like he just walks off like nothing, you know. Like, but if they hurt him, you could just feel like just just like that wind knocked out of him, you know. We're like. <laughs> Damn, you know, like, like the swoop just did that, you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, he said he's done it several yeah. times, but I don't, I don't think, I think he took the wrong path this time. But I was like, God damn, like, <laughs> this is what y'all do, like, Jesus. <laughs> and yeah, he just walked guys, it off. Like at the top of the hill, he's like at the bottom, and like the Family Guy, like falling down for us, like, oh damn. Fuck. Yeah, dude. Like he just, like yeah, he just like just walks, just walked it off, you know. But like, damn, you know. I mean, you can ask him one day, but like, you know, if it comes to mind, I guess. But it's so fucking. No, I think I remember he told me that happened way back, way back. Yeah, it happened a long time ago, obviously. But yeah, like that shit's just crazy, just seeing it like that happen. Yeah, because I thought it was part of the act of him just falling over and just like that. But I'm like, no, like what the fuck am I thinking? That's no. But yeah, it was just crazy. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> That's one story. I mean, I can't think of any right now, but uh, I don't know if you have another one, Dar, for Leo. I, I haven't even provided a single one, bro. I don't got <laughs> I don't. I just I don't remember things that well. Huh? I mean, you did with the kid in the whole. Uh, well, it wasn't a, a particularly funny one. <laughs> well, I mean, that other kid. His esophagus doubled in size that day. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> uh, I remember that that t- that when that happened because I didn't see it, but I saw the vomit left afterwards. Ugh. It was um, it was like behind the apartments. And I was just walking, and I see like a puddle of fucking vomit. And I was like, "Yo!" And this other kid was there, and I was like, "What happened?" And he's like, and he just told me the story that this kid. I don't know why. <laughs> I still don't know why. What the fuck? <laughs> how he got a quarter? Like yeah, I guess he was just eating quarters for fun or some shit. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, mm, fucking George Washington, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that happened, I guess. That was goofy shit. <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to think of like more stories. Yeah, I guess I got one more. Go for it. <clears throat> I was at this uh, place with some old friends. I don't have called, good uh... shit. I don't have good stories. No, you're good. Like bad right? ones. You're good. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was, what was this place called? I remember this one time my uncle almost got carjacked. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, this, this one time he almost got on. Um, it was I was like fucking like four years old. I was like fucking maybe like four tops, and uh, he was like visiting or something. I think he was gonna pick me up to just like go to a park or something. And um, as like he was at the door, I opened the door. He, you know, he's like asking where my mom is and shit. I see some fucking dudes pull up to his car because he has his car open. Um, but he didn't have his key in there, but he had his car open in the front. <clears throat> and they just like they're looking inside, and my uncle's like, Hey, hey, what the fuck are you doing here? So get the fuck away from that. So then they just started running at him. <laughs> they started running at him while he was in front of our door. And then he ran inside, and this dude had like a fucking like a bat, I think, or like a small one. It wasn't a big bat, but it was like a small little fucking thing. I don't remember. And um, I guess he was about to take a swing, but then I think he closed the door. And I was just staring. I was just like a four-year-old, like, picking my boogers, like, yo, what the fuck? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Just random shit like that, but that's not really, like, a funny story. <clears throat> well, I think I told the story before. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure I did, but I'm going to say it again. Um, this is, like, on a fifth-grade field trip or fourth-grade field trip. Um, Leo was a part of as well, too. It was like the whole four uh-huh. graders were going on this trip to um, the name place like Columbia or something like that. Oh, mm-hmm. and we went there, right? And we got like, it was fun, you know. And you know, I really needed to take a shit, right? But I was like, I'll hold <laughs> okay. it till like I get home, right? I couldn't hold it, so <laughs> I thought we we're gonna go straight home after the trip. Yeah, you told me <clears throat> totally. <laughs> there was a park, right? And we all decided to get off and just play, right? And I'm like, oh no. And I told I was I needed to use a bathroom, but one of the kids there was like, You can't use it, you gotta ask the teacher. And then I was like kind of afraid to ask the teacher for some reason. I don't know why. So I had to hold my shit in. And it was like literally about ready to explode. So I went to the bathroom, but it was already too late. It was already bad. I'm not gonna go to the details. It was just bad. That's it. So then they're like, okay, you know. Playtime is over. Let's go back in the bus. We're getting the bus, right? And like one of the teachers, she smells like my shit. She's like, "What the fuck is that?" And she's like, "What the fuck?" But she's like, "What the hell is that smell?" You know, like, just she smells it. You know, it's like, "Oh, someone, ooh, smells bad here." And I'm just like, just like just looking out the window, just ignoring that. You know, it's like, it's not real. It's not real. <laughs> While I'm covering my own shit, dude, and I'm like, this is bad. And then I thought it wouldn't get worse. I thought my mom would pick me up. No. It was Leo's dad picking us up, <laughs> literally picking us up, and I was like, "Cause he's like, oh, you know, your tia, you know, your your aunt, um, Blanca asked me to, you know, pick you up too." And I was like, and then like he tried like kind of like, you know, kind of like guide me, and I just kind of like walk away from him for a bit, just so he won't smell my shit. And I'm surprised you or your dad didn't smell my shit at all until like <laughs> when we got when I got home, he dropped me off. I told my mom, like, hey, you know, I, I did poopies, you know? <laughs> I did poopies. <clears throat> of course, she had to tell me my own words because that was disgusting. But, yeah, that was, like, that was so bad, dude. Like, I kept that to myself, and I was like, nah, I, just, I gotta come out and tell them. But, yeah, it was so yeah, bad. the world needs to know. The world needs to know, you know? It's funny now, you know? But back then, I was just a kid. I was just terrified of everything. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's that's what happened. That reminds me of what I did in a it's like middle school. Mm-hmm. I, I I forget her name, but she was just she was like in her sixties, dog, almost seventies as a gym teacher. Mm-hmm. She just pissed me off. All right, okay. Okay. one time we uh, she was always like a she was older, so she was a lot more like stern and like. No, this is how you do it, like, with, like, her teaching, basically. It's gym class, you know what I mean? Yeah. Pretty sure she had us do the pace or fitness grid, but whatever. Um, fucking, we were playing dodgeball or something that day, and I had to piss before I, I had to piss really bad that morning, but it was one of those, like, man, I'm going to miss the bus. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I got to go outside, you know what I mean, wait for the bus. And eventually, because I, I had gym, like, it was either third, I think it was, like, third period. So, like, I had been holding it, holding it in this whole time. 
just like, fuck, I'm an idiot. I could just use the bathroom. But I was like, ah, I'm fine. I'm fine. We got to gym class. We played dodgeball, running around and all that. And I was like, man, I'm going to piss myself. <laughs> and I told yeah. the teacher, I was like, hey, I really got to go. But she was in the middle of giving us a lecture. She's like, um, no, you can wait until the lecture's done with. And I, I interrupted her again. I was like, I really got to go. She's like, no. And if you interrupt me again, you're not going to be able to participate in the activities. So I pissed myself. <laughs> Everyone was lined up against the wall. And then I, I just I was just like, sorry. <laughs> just it's trickling down and it's all over the floor. And I'm just, I had to clean it up. And I was just like her assistant, uh some I forget his name, like some bigger black dude who was helping her like manage the kids and all that. He was just like, Why'd you do it, man? I know you had to go to the bathroom, but you really couldn't hold it. And I was like, yeah, no, I, I, I told her. You, you heard me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Fair warning. Yeah. Because <laughs> everyone was just like, yeah, that. I was just like, I, I, hey, man, I gave a warning. <laughs> yeah. It's my own fault. I could have gone during passing period. But back then, bro, I unironically used my locker in middle school. <laughs> so like i had no time to make it from point a to point b because my middle school was pretty big and i was just like man this is stressful <laughs> get like a minute 20 to take a piss to wash your hands and book it and i was just like eh and i always like i don't know how you guys were like during school but i just kind of leisurely walk i'm gonna get there when i get there i'm not about to be one of those kids just booking it down the hallway you know what i mean I was, I was, yeah, if I'm late, I'm late. <laughs> I was one of those kids just running the class. Damn. I was like, I'm not going to miss class. Dork. Like, oh, no. Fucking nerd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't want to miss this lecture like for five seconds, you know, whatever. Yeah. They wouldn't even give me lectures. They were just like, just like, I'll sit down, chill for a bit, and then we'll start shit. But for me, I was like, oh, I just want to gather just to chill. That's it. Yeah. I didn't really care about that. But um, I do have another story. Um, mm -hmm. so, uh, this happened like in the uh, middle school and, uh, we had like math class <clears throat> with this, uh, there's uh, our teacher. She's from India. She migrated here like in like four years before she joined the school and, you know, she was still like, you know, kind of like learning like sarcasm, I guess. <laughs> Cause so like what happened was that um we we're kind of like laughing a lot right and it was getting on her nerves really badly to the point where she was like already pissed. She's like telling everyone to like you know be quiet. Or she's gonna send us to you know the dean's office right. And we're all just like giggling like quietly. But I'm the one who's giggling a little bit more loudly, and she knows that. And then she's like Jose, why are you laughing? And my smart ass was like, I'm not laughing, I'm giggling. And <laughs> and she was like, she was like, you want to say that again? And I just stood quiet, but I was like giggling still. And she was like, go to the dean's office. And then I just went to the dean's office. And the dean's office was like, why are you here, dude? And I'm like, she sent me to the office because I was giggling. <laughs> and she was, and he was like, man, just chill out here, bro. And I was like, okay. So I just, I was just in the dean's office for like the rest of the class, just not worrying about anything. <laughs> Yeah, and he never reported to me because he was like, "It's not that big of a deal, you know." But like, if you're interrupting the class, then it's like a whole different thing. And but I, didn't, I left the part out though, so I didn't say anything. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I was just... still in his office giggling. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I was mischievous <laughs> as motherfucker. Yeah, dude, that's the only time I actually got away with that though. But it was so bad. <laughs> not anymore, bro. He's watching this fucking video right yeah. now. He's fucking. You're being written up as you speak. Yeah. God damn it. I phone with that after school detention, buck, bucko. Yep. <laughs> Brother got away from that. <laughs> Could have gotten away with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I don't know. That's, that's you're gonna I have right now. You're going to get served detention slips. <laughs> you're going to knock at your door. <laughs> I'm arriving in the mail. Yeah. I'm open it. It's like, oh, meet me after class. Like, oh, fuck. Fuck, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't got any at that. I don't get any other stories right now. Yeah, y'all got hella stories. Yeah, uh, I got one more. Okay, go for it. Uh, just gonna 
Beyblades let it rip, you know? Mm-hmm. This is more recent, so... Uh... Oh. <laughs> but, you know, I feel comfortable talking about it, okay? I can move mm-hmm. on with my life. Um, <clears throat> I was out with some old friends, some old buddies of mine. We had went to this uh, kind of like a lake area, but it was like a... I forgot what exactly what it was called, but it was pretty populated. Like, people knew about it, but it wasn't too, like... Woo-hoo, let's go here. But it was just like some lake out of town, you know what I mean? Yeah. But there's cliffs on the side that you can jump off of and like do all that shindig. And it yeah. just so happened that that day we met up with some people and this whole like entourage of females. And so me and my buddy are sitting up top <laughs> of this like ledge. And some guy we had met, he was just like, okay, uh, you guys jump after me. And this fucking daredevil-ass motherfucker does a backflip off of the ledge into the water, like, perfectly, like, sublime, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so I'm like, all right, whatever, you know, you a little show off. I'm a one-up your ass. So as I'm <laughs> running off the edge, <laughs> I miss my footing, and so my foot slipped. <laughs> and so... Instead of like doing a hop in the air so I could actually jump backwards and do a backflip, my foot missed the ledge. I just kind of ran off. And then I landed, ended up landing face first into the water and just you hear a giant ass smacking sound. Oh, oh man. And they were recording and I was just like, ah, shit. And so, <laughs> and so my buddy jumps down and they're like, oh, shit, bro, you good? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm good, guys. I'm holding my face. I'm like, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, what do you? Oh, you want to drink still? You want to like smoke? You know something? I'm like, no, no. Let, let's just go. Let's just go, guys. Let's just go. Like, are, are you sure? They're like, yeah, yep. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> holding my face the whole time. And the next morning, bro, it was just all red. It was like my eye was bruised, and I was just like, oh. At least I did it. You know, what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just like, oh, I was trying to show off, and I ate shit. Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, man. Have my dick bro ah. um, I have another story <laughs> that isn't like... what, what? But what that's another story how much Leo loves gobbling on my fucking glizzy dude <laughs> <laughs> Shut your bitch ass up, bro. <laughs> you were trying to gaslight me. Bro, <laughs> you, you, I'm in your head all this fucking while, bro. Wow. Nah, nah, bro. nah, dude. Wow. Nah, bro. bro. Nah. You don't even know what a tenant is because I'm living in your head rent free. I seen the movie. I seen the movie. What? What movie? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one? I don't know. I haven't seen any. <laughs> oh, let's say if there's a POV one, we don't talk about that one. Jose, you had a, you had a story. Woo! Like How many story? stories y'all got? Yeah, I mean, this, one, this, one includes, this one includes you, Leo. Bro, go oh, outside. Never don't tell, don't tell what color is grass? It's not a bad story. It's a funny story that Leo and I like, kind of like laugh about at the moment. So <laughs> this happened, I don't know what story you're going to tell. So this, happened, this happened on Bronco. Um, oh, okay. And well, I say I don't know. And there was this uh, new guy that joined, like, I think like a okay. month or two after us. You know, a, a cool, you know, black dude, you know, he was pretty funny. And, of course, he was like our station. We were like, I guess, like, there was nothing else to do one day. And we're working at the station just alone, just waiting for the truck to come by. Because there was, like, absolutely nothing to do. So we're all just, all three of us are just chilling there waiting for this truck to arrive. And... Leo and this other dude just started roasting each other, right? Just like going back and forth. And Leo's like, you probably have that beanie because you're fucking ball or something like that, right? And that fool chef removes his beanie and he's fucking ball as shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the lights reflected off his head. Like, we're like, we're just laughing, just burst into laughter. <laughs> you know, what made it funny though is like when I look back at Leo, his eyes widen up and he started laughing. <laughs> That shit was funny, dude. It was so random and but funny, dude. Just he just he didn't say anything when he removed it. He just took off his beanie and he just he just looked at us and we just looked back at him and just started laughing. <laughs> it was so it was like just it was like I don't know, it's so funny. That's it. I don't know what to say. It's just it's just random so random and funny. Shit. Yeah. I don't I don't even remember 
that part. I remember we're roasting each other. I don't remember. Yeah, that. but you movie's beating because you're like you, you said something about I don't know. You didn't say it the way I said it, but you said something about him being bald. <laughs> and then he took off his beanie, and that's when yeah. you know he reflected with his ball headed. Yeah. Just dang, hit too close to home, bro. <laughs> yeah, had to remove the beanie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he was laughing either. He was just like, he gave like a stern look. That's it. <laughs> he just did. He wasn't. Oh, he, bro. <laughs> really, bro? Like, really? <laughs> yeah, really, bro. Really? <laughs> Are you going to do me like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah. My fault, my fault. Uh, <laughs> he's watching us right now. He's like, oh, fucker. This thing's just going to come after us. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, that show was funny though. I remember oh, yeah. that. <laughs> I just I just have terrible remembering shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I got any stories right now. That was just one fucking question too, bro. You got another one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could end it with one more topic, you guys like. Uh yeah, I mean how long has it been going? Ooh, like an hour and thirty minutes. Dang. Damn. It didn't feel like it. <laughs> Yeah, we're having fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. What's a game that you hate so much? Oh fuck! I don't know. Um. Uh, hmm. Do you have them one in mind, Jose? Um, I'm thinking of one right now, but I don't know. I don't know, like. I don't know. Like, I'm thinking about it, the name of the game, but I forgot what it was not called, but like, I don't know. Um, let's see. A game that I probably hate will probably be. See, I don't hate any games. How about a game that you just find really like boring? I'm pretty sure we've done that already, but mm. yeah, mm. it's like some games we hate, we actually enjoy, and we we put ourselves through the mental stress of still playing it because it's enjoyable. Yeah, that's so <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. But <laughs> yeah, a game I found boring, probably like fucking Fortnite, I guess. It's just like really boring. You know, oh, you know what, Warzone. I probably hate Warzone. It's it's because boring. it's it's yeah it's boring it's super fucking boring it's annoying it's and like i guess like what i thought would make it fun was like the the what's it called the voice um was it called the voice, voice prox the, uh, voice prox yeah, it was but... it was fun though it was fun for a bit. yeah the first like fucking three days it was like super fun just fucking around with people yeah just saying some of the most like like, yeah, I, I remember one time there was fucking because I was playing Warzone two as well when it came out. I mean, obviously we were playing together, but yeah. Um, this is one time where this guy was in a fucking tower, and I was like, "Hey, dog, I know you're there. I know you're up there." And he's like, "Bro, just leave me alone, bro. Just go away." And I'm mm-hmm. like, "Nah, bro. This is only in one or two ways. Either you kill me or I kill you." No, bro, go away, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was bleeding, bro, and I went up there and just fucking killed him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was fun for like three days max, and then and just got really like, using it. Yeah. yeah, no one, no one started using it because like everyone was a tryhard, and it's like, bro, it's just fucking. Fun. Yeah, it's, but I don't know. It just got really like, just I don't know. I just didn't like it afterwards, you know. I just kind of hated it. Want to hurt someone? Oh God, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> God. I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know about all that. Just look up how to pull IPs. I don't know. It was yeah. too bad. Like, <laughs> yeah. start stabbing people. Like, what the <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I try to be all competitive, but I can't. And then, like, I try to be funny, and they're like really annoyed by it. And so I'm like, okay, fuck you, and then too. And then I just stop playing it. But it resonates with you. Just like that motherfucker. I'll show him. <laughs> just... No, literally, yeah, literally. Like, oh my god, fucking, I, fuck this this fucker on Xbox. Fucking, um, we we're playing Battlefront, right? Yeah. All of us literally were like playing it, and like this fucker kept like saying shit to us, and 
we were so fucking pissed that we invited him to a party, ready to talk shit to him. But once he joined, we didn't say nothing. We just we we didn't bother say anything. We were like, "What the fuck are we doing?" You know, like, "Why are we doing this?" And we just fucking like kick him out. We're like, just like, "What the fuck are we like? Why are we doing that?" And you know, because we were, I was like so pissed. Leo was pissed. Alex was pissed. Rolando was pissed. We invited this fucker ready to fucking talk shit to him. He joined, and we just sat quiet, didn't say nothing, and we just like just we kick. We kicked him out. We're like, we're better than this. Like, what are we doing? And we just we never talk about it until now. Why are you fucking bring it up then, motherfucker? Because <laughs> <laughs> it was something that I just I just remember being funny, but like something that we shouldn't be fucking like doing because we're better than them, you know. But I remember because the fucking Al- Rolando was supposed to talk shit, but then he just he was quiet. And I was like, bro, <laughs> I was like, bro, the fucker was supposed to say something, but they did it. He's like, okay, well, let, I guess that's it. Like, bro, yeah. the pressure's on. He will fold. <laughs> yeah, like what the fuck? Probably gonna like blame it on Alex. And Alex back to me, and then me too. Fucking Rolando and Rolando back to. You. Oh no. Well, he's. Let's make sure he gets back on here so he can like testify. I guess. Yeah. It'd been so funny if you guys just like, what are you guys doing? And you just started talking shit about each other while the dudes in the like party just like. Uh... <laughs> no, fuck, you called me the shit, bro. Fuck. Rolando, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. No, what the fuck, you like, What the fuck? Yeah, I'm just going back and forth. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna let sweet. myself out. You know, yeah. he just dips he's out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I say Warzone. I don't know how the fuck we just went off from there. <laughs> Motherfucker, I don't know. I I still say I guess fucking Fortnite. Like in terms of boring, repetitive, boring, like super boring shit. Like that's just yeah, yawn. <laughs> yawn. <laughs> For me. Um. Oh man. What about you, Darth? <sighs> Social is Battleground Roblox. No. no. <laughs> I was quite addicted to this game for a while, and then I uh, had to give it up. Move on. The bigger, better things. Vainglory? I wish. I wish. No, Seahawks? I was... Uh, no. Um, Genshin Impact. Oh. oh. <laughs> what was that? What was that reaction? What the fuck? <laughs> It was cool for like the first week and then it was boring shit. Like <laughs> you both just insane just oh <laughs> come on man. It's fucked up. <laughs> Never saying shit ever again, man. Damn. My fault, my fault, my fault. I didn't mean that. I, didn't mean that. I, I apologize. <laughs> no, it's it's a terrible game. I it just it's boring shit. But like, it's just yeah. It's open world, and that's about it. Like that was their main appeal. And that's what, oh, just, that's what it was. Uh, there's not much to it really. I haven't played yeah. in a while, but there was like a gotcha system as well. We're like, oh, how you get characters is by opening up packs. But you have to do quests and all this to earn the gems to get the packs, or you can buy them. And it was like, eh, eh, gambling basically. Yeah. Ah, love God. Gotta love gambling. Yeah, yeah. Always bet on a car or something like that. Yeah, well, uh, that's our games. Yep. Yep. All right, well. Uh, yeah, we can uh, finish it off right here, you know? Yeah, all I'm going to say is uh, <clears throat> Warzone's worse than Genshin Impact. That's true. Well, actually, I never played Genshin, but I'll say, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Agree. 100%. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm ready to finish off right here. You guys ready? Yeah. Whoa, TMI, bro. Get a ring. Okay, hey. All right. All right. <laughs> huh? What? Huh? All right, you guys ready? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well... Darth, you do the outro. Who, me? What the? What if... Yeah. <clears throat> well, guys. Black, huh? <laughs> 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 oh.
<laughs> that's fucked up too. That's fucked up. You know, like the worst part about that is, like the one day I'm wearing tribal shit too, bro. Like you really gonna feel like that? Like the one day, I'm like, like when I'm in character. Hey, I'm brother, character. brother. <laughs> 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 Damn, bro. Damn. Damn, nah, bro. bro. It's because Dar- Jose's racist, not me. It's like- <laughs> yeah, he knew I was wearing this suit today. And he yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, let handle this burden. That's what he said. Yeah, my dad will help me again. <laughs> God. It's fuck. Why not fuck it? Ball. Well, you thank will. you guys. Nah, okay. This was episode. 35 of the dumb cast if you liked our topics and shenanigans please leave a like subscribe share if you have any topics for us let us know down below and shout out to these two goobers wherever they are on the screen if you have any more stories like traumatic or funny let us know too yeah yeah we're we're therapists my phd is somewhere out there i'll have to get it later for future podcasts yeah i'll get it later yeah yeah also uh I have to wear my glasses now. I can't see fucking shit. <clears throat> Goddamn nerds. Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> oh, no. He's driving. <laughs> this man, he's man. Can you believe this? Oh, man. This guy, man. This guy. Uh, uh, this guy. <laughs> this, <laughs> this guy is the bunnies. Oh, are you comedian? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. Toodaloo. All right. Later. Toodaloo. Do you know what to wait? Do you know what to wait?